Okay guys, I didn't want to let you go without giving you some information on this vise. Um, I don't know if you've seen or not, the date was January 28th of 08. I was thinking probably 2008. I thought that's pretty cool. It is a Stanley Victor. It's number 741 if you care to look it up. If you have one like this. And I looked it up and uh, it is a 1908. It is a gunsmithing um, vice. This came in with some stuff, free tools that I did a while back that I went through and I kept a bunch of them. Um, there was like a 22 barrel in there. There was some um, shotgun shells and, and there was uh, you know some pistol grips and stuff like that in there. Um, so I didn't think anything about this vice. It turns out it is a 1908. Now as you can see I broke it but I did weld it up. It welded up fine. Um, normally on something like this i would use a nickel rod and braze it but i wasn't sure if my torch would get it hot enough it probably would have but i just went ahead and i heated it up as hot as i could get it and then i welded it um, seemed to do all right once i ground it off and everything um there are some imperfections on it from where i was you know handling it and you know just uh kind of nicked here and there but that's okay now had I known it was a 1908 I would have just wire wheeled it shot some WD-40 on it left it at that but I didn't know like I said I was thinking it was 2008 and then I got thinking surely it's not a it's not a um, 1908 and when I looked it up sure enough you, like I said if you have one similar to it uh, the numbers on there but this one is a number 741 which dates back to 1908 it's uh, it's a gunsmithing it's a gunsmithing uh, uh, vice so it's pretty cool because it's got the little anvil right there on the and the date the date once you once you pull this out the date will be right on top of here and it should tell you what it is this is a Stanley vector and I did put a new pin in right there as you saw um, so I just put a roll pin in it but yeah I wouldn't even um, if I known it was a 1908 some things are better left unrestored but you know when I found out it was like well shit it's it was already painted you know other than you know cleaning this off you know, I was going to leave it painted, and then I thought, no, because it might fit a little tight. And when I stuck it in there, it felt a little tight. So I went ahead and cleaned this off, and I cleaned this off up here. Kind of gave it a little more modern touch, but uh, the handle turned out pretty good. But anyway, I wanted to share that information with you. So, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for my next video where we're going to be installing a uh, Ring Doorbell Pro. So, <laughs> stay tuned for that. Uh, Click the bell icon so you can get notified when that one gets dropped. So I'm going to edit this one and put it up for you now. And uh, y'all have a great weekend, man. Uh, what What is today? Friday? Happy Friday to y'all. I'm missing today. I kept thinking yesterday was Wednesday and it was Thursday. So anyway, enough rambling. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, enjoy this clip that I'm going to show you next of... Uh, I'll give you a little backstory on it. I was uh, I was hot bluing them the these two pieces, and Monkey was calling me, and I dropped it into a plastic thing, and uh, you'll see it anyway. So <laughs> that was <laughs> anyhow. That's what happened there. So <laughs> Shea Bear, the myth, the man, legend, gone for now. Enjoy the blooper clip, guys. Bye-bye.
Yeah. Hey.